Hey, what's up, peeps? It's me, B, coming to you from Iceberg Investment Foundation. Just wanted to get on here and wrap with you a little bit about the car business real quick. Be a quick, short, straight to the point video today. Um, I got stuff to do. I got a lot of stuff going on today. So not that you're not important, but I got some money moves to make. Um, basically, I just want to touch on some questions people have been asking me. The number one question I've been asked lately is, is there uh, any money to really be made in the car broker business? <clears throat> My answer is stay tuned. I just started being a broker uh, this month, actually. So um, I can say it's been a good first month, but um, I've already broke the profit margin. And anybody that's been in any business or in business for themselves will tell you that, uh, yeah, you can sell things and it looks like you're doing good, but you got to keep up with your balance sheet. It tells you what you've made versus what you spent. I call it the budget sheet but you gotta uh you gotta keep up with every little expense the gas you spent going to look at a car um the price of the car every little thing what you had to pay a driver what you spent on clothes whatever anything to do with the company that's separate from your money by the way you want to calculate that up only that money is calculated on your budget sheet um any extra expenses you spend on going out to eat that has nothing to do with the car business, that's, that's not going to have nothing to do with your budget sheet. But anyhow, uh, so I've been working my budget sheet very thoroughly, putting down every little expense. And I can probably say that I have uh, broke the profit by a significant amount. I broke the profit margin. Uh, I'm definitely into the profit now to where... I could actually go buy cars and I'll still be ahead of the game. So anybody that's in the car business knows what I'm talking about, but, or any business for that matter, you just, you got, once you get to that point, you know, you've, uh, you've got somewhere. In the, but the main thing to do after that is not to stop. Um, so is there money to be made in the broker business? So far, I would, it looks like it is, but uh, we'll see how this lasts long term. I've been in the car business for a decade now. We're right at it. And I can tell you there is good money to be made in the car business in general. There's, there's so many different avenues. You can, of course, work at a car lot. You can be a private seller. You can rent your cars out. Like, a, I think it's called Toro. It's like an enterprise type deal. Like, you can actually rent your car out to individuals and stuff like that. Uh, of course, you got Uber, et cetera, et cetera. There's so many things you can do with cars and make money. It's just the skies or the road is the limit. But... That's basically the answer to that question. There is money to be made in the car business, and it does appear as though there's money to be made in the broker business. Um, being a broker is a lot funner so far. So uh, just stay tuned. I'll let you know. I'll let you know something in, in two years. We'll see where I'm at. I like to gauge it like that, maybe two, maybe three years. We'll see where my progression is. But right now, uh, things are looking pretty good. But I ain't going to flex too much right now. Um, another question I was asked, uh, there's one more. Oh, how do you succeed in selling cars? And the answer is patience. If you buy a vehicle and you're looking to make profit, of course, the main thing is we all know the golden rule, buy low, sell high. With that in mind, so you buy two thousand. You spend, say you spend two thousand dollars on a Honda Accord. People start hitting you up about it, but all they're offering you is fifteen hundred dollars. Three months go by, and you still got this. Well, let's not say three months. That's 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 not something I would. That I wouldn't even. I would try not to get in that situation. You don't want to buy some, spend so much money on something where you are stuck with it for three months. But let's say three weeks go by, and you still have that car. And people are still hitting you fifteen hundred dollars, lowballing you, whatever. You may panic. You may get in a pinch to where you're like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let it go for fifteen, just to get rid of it. So of course you've now lost money. That's something you cannot do. Um, you can't get in car business spending the last dime on your product because you don't need to be a ground zero to where you're desperate to make money. You gotta leave yourself with a cushion. After you buy your cars save up your money or whatever 
and then get into the business or, or save your money up to where you don't spend all your money on the cars in the first place really is what you need to do um and you just need to cut out all the overhead you can that's to be that's the beautiful part about being a broker i don't have much overhead like i did when i had my dealer's license but with all that being said patience is the name of the game when it comes to selling your vehicles you just gotta Hang on to your merchandise, have confidence in it, make sure it's good to go when you sell it so you can stand tall and tell people, yeah, that's a good car. I drive it, I drove it to the store, I drove it back and forth to Birmingham, whatever, you know, and be honest about it. That's what that's how I do. I, I'll get a car and I'll actually drive it around town, make sure it's safe. I'll put my family in it, we'll run errands, stuff like that. And uh and then I can speak honestly when I tell people this is a good car. I mean, you'll be a, you kind of be crazy not to buy it because my prices can't be beat and it's a good dependable car. It's been proven. So that's my, uh, my take on those two questions. Uh, thanks for asking those questions and I look forward to answering any questions you have in the future. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, comment if you'd like to. I'd appreciate it. Um, and uh, be sure to check out our Facebook page, Instagram, and just throw us some support. You can uh, purchase our merchandise. We got these jackets right here. We got uh, shirts. We got the Tactical Advantage stuff going on. So just hit us up on Facebook or Instagram if you'd like to buy anything um, or you want to send some support our way. As you know, the fan of the month gets a free shirt and a $100 voucher for being the most supportive person. So if you like and share our content as far as our YouTube channel and Facebook and Instagram content, mainly the Facebook and YouTube, if you share those things a lot, you've got a great chance of winning some free merchandise. So continue to support us. I really appreciate it. God bless you and hope you and your family continue to be blessed.